There's no more Macaulay Culkin. You'll remember his character died in the original, but now there's Austin O'Brien, last seen in Last Action Hero. I don't look at it as filling somebody else's part, you know. It's like Nick's life, you know. It's not somebody else's life, you know, like filling in for somebody else. She is not a child, Harry. She is a young woman. She's on the brink of disaster. Disaster looks behind me. Palm. The film picks up Gloria 1974. But I did wear a bit of polyester in the knees, as we all did. Um, and I'm looking at it fully. I mean, I, I just, it was a great time. Now set two years after the first film, Veda, played by Anna Klumski, is maturing and adjusting to the new influences of babies, boyfriends, and breasts. <laughs> They're enormous. I know. Is there milk in them already? No, the milk comes when the baby comes. That was so embarrassing. It was like that scene was just like all about that. I was like, it was weird. I thought I looked awfully uh, voluptuous, uh, pregnant. I thought I looked beautiful. Why do they call them training brats? It's not like learning to ride a bike. I know. I guess it's just sort of preparing you for the rest of your life. It's not easy being a woman. Uh, I'll take your word for it. This nurturing relationship between Klumski and Curtis spilled over to real life. I mean, I think we always want to have that auntie, that person in our life who we can go and tell anything to, that other person. I think that's an important relationship. And although I would be hesitant to say I'm that person in Anna's life, I'd be happy to be that person. You see, Veda, marriage, marriage is a very big step. And no. Not something to be entered into lightly. See, I just, uh, I just want to make very sure that everything is absolutely right before I go jumping into some kind Sounds of like a... Sounds like you have a fear of commitment, Uncle Phil. Richard Mazur reprises his role as Beta's loving Uncle Phil. Beta, I know that traditionally you're not supposed to do a lot of these things before you're officially married, but these are very, very special circumstances. I think the thing that's, that everybody relates to is everybody's either had that experience or is about to have that experience. One, two, two and a half, three. And one of those experiences is a first kiss. Klumski locked lips with Culkin in My Girl. Now she gets to pucker up again for her second on-screen kiss. And who's the better kisser? There are two different kinds of kisses, so I don't know. They did it over and over and over again. They were both nervous going in, but they, they were very, they were real good about it. We both kind of feared it, you know, <laughs> till the day it came. But um, what I tried to do, as I said, I tried to put myself in the position of Nick. So I'm, Nick is the one who want, is wanting to kiss Veda, you know. What boy likes you? It's just a question. It's not about anybody. Uh-oh, here comes puberty. O'Brien says he couldn't help but see the difference in Klumski from the first film, but who's he to talk? Well, she looked a lot younger in the in the first one, and so um, she looks. She I think she looks older now than she did in the first one. So. Oh yeah, so do you. Than you did in the second one. <laughs> He's grown like three inches oh, since we true. finished the film. Oh. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Let me see if he changes colors on me. Uh, okay. But be careful. It has lots of sentimental value. Maybe it'll fit my pinky. This is one of my favorite things I've ever done was my girl, and, and being able to do it again was, uh, you know, obviously a treat. Like in 137 hours. Have fun, but not too much. Next on HBO, what does a sickly boy need the most when he's headed straight for a showdown with his school bully? Chuck Norris at his back. Sidekicks. Next on HBO.